Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Are you looking for a water filter, in particular a water filter that you can use for emergency situations? Well, today we're going to take a look at this, the Survival Filter Pro, which claims to be the best independently tested filtration system on the market. Stay tuned. So one of the things you absolutely have to have in an emergency situation is a way to produce good, clean water for your family. And that's why I've been looking for a new water filter to test out. Now at home I have the Sawyer all-in-one filter. I'm going to do a video on that here soon and show you guys how to make a gravity-fed filter for that very easily for an off-grid situation or an emergency situation. But if you're looking for something a little more portable, this is an option and I was really impressed with what I read about it on the internet, so I decided to give it a try. Let's start first and foremost with the price. It's about $64, $65 on Amazon on Prime, so not a bad price for what appears to be a pretty capable filter. Now I'll show you guys the different components of the filter here in a little bit and how it works, but to give you a little information about how it filters, it has a three-stage filter. The first stage is what they call a 0.1 micron ultra pre-filter. It takes out algae, giardia, E. coli, common things that we can find out in the wilderness in streams that can cause a lot of GI distress. It also takes out protozoa and cryptosporidium. Now this particular filter lasts about 100,000 liters or about 26,000 gallons, so it has a very large capacity. Stage two is a carbon filter. Carbon filters are known to take out chemicals and pollutants, things that you need a carbon organic based filter to take out. So basically heavy metals, chemicals, pollutants, things like that. This is the shortest last part of this filter. It only treats about 2,000 liters or 528 gallons, so you do need to replace it more frequently. The last stage, or stage three, is an internal ultra micron, 0.01 micron filter. This filters out, it says 99.9% .9 of viruses. It takes out staph, which is a common bacteria, and this particular part of the filter also treats up to 100,000 liters or 26,000 gallons of water before you need to replace it. Each of the replacement filters are $14.95, so the one you probably need to replace the most is the carbon filter. And if you're going to use this as an emergency type filter, I'd probably recommend getting an extra one or two carbon filters, keeping them sealed up so they're not exposed to the air and start to break down that carbon, and you can keep those. And that'll give you two, four, six, you know, 8,000 liters of water you can filter with this particular filter, which really is a lot of water. So let me show you guys what comes in the box and how it works. All right, so this is what comes in the filter. It does come with this mesh bag, which is nice because it, it allows uh, air to breathe through and allows it to dry off uh, and after you use it. This is the filter itself. It comes with instructions. It comes with one long tube. This is the pre-filter. Water comes in through here, basically comes through and goes into the bottom of the filter itself. This other small cord here comes out of the actual filter here and into your vessel, and it comes with this clip to clip along to your vessel. Very simple, pumping action, okay, whenever you want to uh, filter water through it. It does say here, out, okay, so very clearly states out. If you open this up, this is your main ultra filter right here, okay? You can see right here, um, this is the secondary carbon filter at the bottom here, and then this is the ultra filter right here. So a nice little unit just clips together and goes back in there and works very easily. So all you have to do is attach this. This is where the water will come in from your water source down here. And then you'll attach this here, and you will put this into wherever you're putting water into, and that will give you the clean water. So let me show you how that works. So pretty simple. This is your pre-filter. You're just going to put that into the water. All right, hopefully y'all can see that out there. And just slide on this clip. I don't like this clip very much. I think there's better ways to do it, and I'm going to figure it out. Show you guys a uh, close-up here in a second, but you just make sure that your water is going into there, and you just start pumping. Make sure you clean out your actual pot beforehand and you won't get stuff in there. So it really does put out quite a bit of water. It takes very little effort to spray out about two cups of water here. If you do take that pre-filter and make sure it's submerged in the water, you'll get even better flow. 
So that's a quick look at how this filter works. It's really easy to use. It can't get any easier as far as the actual filtration. But we will talk a little bit about some pros and cons that I found by testing this filter out the last couple of months. So the pros, first I think for the amount of filtration and the quality and the high level filtration you get, I think the cost is quite good, $65 roughly. It does have replaceable filters, which I think can be a positive or a negative. These particular filters, in particular stage one and stage three, they last for 26,000 gallons. That's a lot of water. It has high volume and that replaceable filters are nice because you can buy a couple of extra and have them and save them and they should last for quite some time, especially if you don't put water through them. They're relatively inexpensive, $15 uh, each. So you could buy a full set of replacements for $45. I don't know if I would do that right up front. Like I said, the carbon filters are the ones that last the shortest. So I would buy a couple extra of those from the start to have more capacity in a emergency situation. So the cons, well, first of all, we just talked about it. The carbon filter is the shortest lived one. It's 2000 liters. And that leads to another con is you don't really know when these filters are, are bad. You know, you, you, there's no way to track how many liters you put through them. And ultimately in an emergency situation, I don't know how I would even handle that. I guess you could start by trying to keep some track, but that's gonna be very difficult to do. It's definitely a con. There's no way to know how much water has gone through the filters. Another con is that honestly, it feels somewhat cheaply made. I've been able to take it apart. It all looks very good. The O-rings look very good. It doesn't look like anything will fail, but you know how sometimes you just feel things. They don't feel as strong or as well-made. You look, for example, at some of the cation water filters, uh, ceramic-based water filters, uh, machined metal, really high quality. You can tell just holding them. But at the same time, those are many hundreds of dollars, so you have to weigh those things. This particular filter, although it feels to some extent a little cheap, it is solidly made. It's molded plastic, and if you take care of it, I don't think you'll have any problem with it. The tubing itself, I'm not sure that I really like it. I might replace it with higher quality tubing. Again, it's kind of flimsy and I'm worried that it could easily deteriorate over time. I'd like something a little bit stronger for an emergency situation. So just something to think about. Tubing, of course, is something you can get for inexpensive. So it's not something major to replace. The third con, especially if you're looking at using this for backpacking, is it is relatively heavy. Now, I don't remember the exact weight. I'll put it over here for you guys because uh, I didn't bring it out with me. But it is relatively heavy compared to other filters like the Sawyer, for example, which is really, really lightweight. So if you're looking at this for something other than emergency situations and more for like backpacking, although it's very usable and it's very good. I mean, I, I probably will use it some on the trail. Uh, it is a little bit heavier. So do I recommend the filter? Well, I mean, if you're looking for an emergency filter that's reasonably priced, that can put a lot of water through it, that has replaceable and easily accessible filters, this is the way to go. Most of these water filters, when you buy a replacement filter, it can be $50, $60. Now this particular one, of course, there are three filters, so you have to pay for each one, totaling, as we said, $45. But two of them last a very, very long time. Most importantly is the testing they were able to do to get rid of all the things you can get rid of with this particular filter when it goes through the three stages. The viruses, the bacteria, the heavy metals, the chemicals, all that stuff gets taken out. It makes you feel more comfortable that the water that you are actually filtering and the water that you will be drinking is safe. I'd had my eye on this filter for a while because I thought it looked interesting from the standpoint of cost point and capabilities. So I decided to buy it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If any of you have it and have found either limitations, if you have found that the somewhat less quality feel to it has led to problems, have you had it break or anything like that, let me know and I certainly will let y'all know over time if I have any problems with it because I will continue to use it. I don't plan on using this for emergency situations, although of course it will be around. I really plan on trying to use it backpacking and see how it works on a day-to-day -day basis. Days that I'm not super worried about weight, I'll take it with me and I can easily filter water quickly, much quicker than a Sawyer squeeze and not have to sit there squeezing out of that little bottle. We've had a little bit of a cold front come through Louisiana. It's 94 degrees today, which is unbelievable. It's been well over 100 lately and I didn't even want to try to get out, but I had a little time today. There's even a little breeze coming through the creek here, so it's actually really nice. Really appreciate everyone's input on the channel. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up below. It helps to spread it across the channel. And if you like videos like this and other ones, check out some of my other videos and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. As always, guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos.